Good evening and welcome to St. Mary of the Hills Church. Today we celebrate the Nativity of our Lord. Today's Mass is being offered for Yolinda and Dominic Lombardi by the family. Today's Mass can be found on page 480 in the Word of the Lord Missal, these blue missiles in the pews. Our celebrant today is Father Juan, and please rise and lift your voices in song for number 341, O Come All Ye Faithful, 341. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, born today for our salvation, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to this celebration. Welcome to this night in which we celebrate the nativity of the Lord, in which we celebrate that our Savior is born, that the gift of our salvation is real, that the gift of eternal life, of the kingdom of God, is made, has been made real for us in the presence of Jesus Christ. And as we prepare to celebrate that, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. You almighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ Lord, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of your Father and Mother, Lord have Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
great flood as a sign.
let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant us just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. For every booth that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people of his own, eager to do what is good. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim good news of great joy. Today a Savior is born for us, Christ the Lord. My friends, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region, living in the fields and keeping night watch over their flocks. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth to those on whom his favor rests. My friends, the gospel of the Lord. May the words of the gospel take away our sins. Years and years ago, when the Gospels were written, when the evangelists decided to put together the story of the Nativity, the story of Christ, the Savior, being born, and they put it all together, of course, in their original language. And of course, then later on, the church wanted to conserve her tradition, to preserve her tradition, then sacred scripture gets translated into the Latin language. And Latin becomes the official tradition of sacred scripture in the church. And in fact, as we know, Latin was the language of the church for centuries, for centuries and centuries. In that, in that language, the tradition was kept. And then, of course, we start translating from Latin into every single language in the world so that the news, the good news, can be proclaimed and can be understood and can be truly be sent everywhere in the world. But if we go back to our tradition, if we go back to what that Latin text tells us, in fact, we will find one simple sentence that summarizes today's feast. We will find one simple sentence that summarizes what we celebrate at Christmas, what we celebrate at the Nativity of the Lord. Odie Christus natus est. Odie Christus natus est. Four words that are translated into English as, Today Christ is born. Today Christ is born. 
But when we look at language, and I, who, in my, me, myself, I have to look at language because I love languages. So when I look at the origin of this sentence, of this very simple sentence, today Christ is born, when we look at the origin in the Latin language, in fact, the word odie, which we translate as today, has more than just one simple meaning. That word odie doesn't just mean today. It means at least three other things. It means, number one, it means at this time. Number two, it means still. Number three, it also means at this very moment. All of that, my dear brothers and sisters, those three meanings are truly what we celebrate today, more than just today. We celebrate, first of all, that at this time, we continue celebrating and rejoicing in the fact that Christ the Lord was born for our salvation. That at this time, we still enjoy the gift of salvation. That at this time, that event that was historical thousands of years ago continues being a real event that happens today, year after year. And that we gather as a community to celebrate that that event of Christ being born for our salvation happens once again at this time. Not only today, it happens at this time, in our time, in our time with our circumstances, with the things that we are going through, with the situations that we face day after day. That is our time. That is at this time. At this time, Christ is born once again so that he can help us walk through difficult times, so that he can help us walk in the midst of our distress, so that he can help us walk in the midst of our joy as well as brothers and sisters. At this time, Christ is born again. Number two, Christ is born still. The second meaning of that word, Christ is born still. Because that event has never ended. That event has never stopped. That event, it's a continuous event. We don't simply celebrate that Christ is born year after year after year. No, we celebrate that Christ was born once, and that's it. That event never ends. He was born, and he continues being alive every single day, and has been alive every day in the life of the church history, so that we can truly believe in him and know that he is alive for our salvation, that he has given us that gift of salvation. So Christ is born still, because that event has never stopped. His birth was truly a birth to give us salvation, and that gift of salvation is still real, it's still a gift that we enjoy day after day. Number three, Christ is born at this very moment. Here, right now, as we gather to celebrate. At this very moment, Christ is born in our own hearts. At this very moment, Christ is born in our families. At this very moment, Christ is, Christ is born in our church because he comes once again to tell us that with him, Everything is possible. That with him, nothing is impossible. That with him, when we allow him to be part of our lives, of our existence, of our journey, then true joy comes to our hearts. Because indeed, he is born at this very moment for each one of us. As we gather to celebrate, my dear brothers and sisters, the Feast of the Lord Nativity as we gather to celebrate that Christ is born for our salvation, as we gather to celebrate that Christ is born at this time, that Christ is born still, and that Christ is born at this very moment, let us ask the Lord himself, Christ himself, to truly come and take possession of our hearts. Because when he does so, then we become Christ for one another. That is what Christmas is all about. Christmas is not about the exterior things. Christmas is about the inner self. 
Christmas is about allowing God, allowing Christ to take possession of each one of us so that we can be Christ for one another, so that we can become Christ for one another, so that we can truly help our brothers and sisters put into practice the word of God and truly lead a way of life that leads us all closer to that kingdom of heaven, our final goal, what we all desire. Let us open our hearts so that the Lord may come to us because when he is born, he truly comes to take possession of us, to lead our journey to the kingdom of heaven, to continue giving us that gift of eternal life, the gift of salvation for which he was born, for which he came into the world so that we can enjoy that God indeed is with us. Amen. So let us now, my dear brothers and sisters, profess what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, knowing and trusting that God always hears us, let us now offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. For the Church, may God bless our efforts to boldly announce the coming of the Prince of Peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God give them grace to govern with humility and concern for the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those grieving this holiday season, may the Lord bring them consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here today, may the Lord strengthen and sustain our faith in all we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, including Yolanda and Dominic Lombardi and Robert Paulding. May they celebrate this blessed Christmas feast face to face with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and loving God, you are the source of all good. You are the source of all love. Here are these prayers we present to you and hear all the prayers that we keep deep within our hearts and grant all these through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join in the singing of our preparation of the gifts hymn. It's number 348, Hark the Herald Angels.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we look forward, O oh Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly, for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of the things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again, you offer them covenant, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time, you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left, left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. 
in a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, save your world. From high your cross and resurrection, you. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the place of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gather into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ. Remember especially your servants, Yolanda and Dominic Lombardi, for whom we offer this Eucharist today. And all the dead whose faith you alone have known, to all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we may glorify you through Christ Jesus, our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to set you your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Amen. 
Let us offer to each other a loving sign of God's peace. Is a slam of God. Take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Slam of God. Take away the sin. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Communion Antiphon from John chapter 1. The Word became flesh, and we have seen his glory. Please join in the singing of our communion hymn, number 352, Silent Night, Holy Night, number 352.
from my holy faith with the dawn of redeemed Lord at thy birth Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Stille Nacht, heilige Nacht, alle Schläge. Hoch, heilige Paar, holde Knabe im lochigen Haar, schlaf in himmische Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, that we who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's nativity may, through an honorable way of life, become worthy of union with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
before our final blessing, I just want to uh, wish you all uh, on my behalf, on behalf of Deacon Dick, uh, the entire staff, the parish staff and all the volunteers that truly help us uh, to make this celebration possible, to decorate the church, to make sure that everything was ready. We would like to wish you a very blessed and Merry Christmas, that the Lord uh, may continue filling your hearts with his joy, with his blessings, because at the end, as I mentioned, it is him, he himself, the one that guides our journey. And that's what we celebrate today, that the guidance of the Lord is always with us. So I wish you all a very blessed and a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Miss Barbara. The Lord be with you. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by the glorious birth has illumined this most holy night, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God, who will that the great joy of his Son's saving birth be announced to shepherds and, and, and by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make your heralds and make your heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make your sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us all. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The celebration is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Please raise your voices in song to the singing of our recessional hymn number 347, Angels We Have Heard on High, 347. Angels we have heard on high, sweet Chelsea's Deo Glory Excelsis Deo Jesus is there.